So we're going to do the same daily heave trip we did on Tuesday, but instead of taking that back with our beer and bolo, we're going to kick over to mount, okay? Using the same kick over to mount technique. We learned last week, so none of this should be new stuff for most of you. So same thing, we're starting with our daily heave, okay? It's not underhook daily heave, it's just normal daily heave at this point, all right? I'm going to kick him back and sit up. My daily heave hook comes off. I cut behind his knee, I reinforce it with my daily heave hook, and I fall back. I want to get his heel, ooh, I'm sorry about your, okay? <laughs> I, was, I picked the wrong guy for this. I want to get his heel off the mat, okay? Once I get his heel off the mat, it's easy to turn his leg. I want to turn his heel in so I turn his knee out. This foot pushes on his hip as I fall this way. He falls over, okay? If he posts his hand, that's perfect, that's exactly what I want. I go right to my inversion, this hand comes to the far hip, okay? For the kick over, I gotta get to my right shoulder, so I need to invert all the way to this shoulder, and then I just do a backwards roll, okay? And then we're gonna come here, cross face, we're gonna dig for our underhook, okay? One more again. Just start with normal daily heave okay? I kick him up, my hook comes off, I cut behind the knee, I reinforce it, I pull him up here, I'm pushing this in, turning his knee out, pushing on his hip, and falling to my side. You okay, sorry buddy. <laughs> this comes here, I invert to the far hip, hand to the far hip to get up under him, okay? I'm gonna rock my feet this way, I gotta have my feet pointing that way. Okay, and then I'm gonna kick up and over. To come to here, cross face, underhook, over the mount. Try not to kick your partner in the junk. <laughs> you missed my hip by a couple inches, bud. One more time, last time. Any questions before I do the last, the last demo? Okay. We're kicking him up. Hook comes off. Cut behind the knee. Hook goes back on as you rock back. Okay, getting his heel off the mat. Pushing on the hip, turning the heel, rocking this way. As he falls, look, I'm using this to kind of pull myself over. Okay, if this is here, this foot here, invert. Use that armpit grip with this hand to invert yourself, okay? I gotta make sure I go to this shoulder and then we're rocking up and over. Any questions? One question. Yep. Like, where, where, when, where do you like to control with this hand? So you got the ankle here. Like if you're, because sometimes you get stuck in that daily kiva for like, you know, a little bit. In nogi? Yeah, in nogi here. Do so. You know, it's not a ton of control points. That's why you don't see a ton of nogi, regular nogi, um, de la Hiva, right? So we're here. In gi, I would have a collar grip, sleeve grip, belt grip. Here we don't have any of those. That's why we reinforce the knee grip. That's what we're doing in place of that, to pull him into us, right? Get him to step and get his heel up off the mat. And then we're just knocking him down, boom. And I'm using this grip as he falls to pull myself over, reaching for that far hip, scooting up under him. Okay, yeah. Different story yeah. in gi. All sorts of grip options. Sometimes I try to grab the wrist and he's just like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, from, in a no gi situation, it's tough. That's why we go to the back of the knee. Okay. Okay? When you're going over, do you have to use arm power to go over? So, for this particular move, as he falls, I have the back of his knee cupped. That starts the inversion. Uh -huh. And if I could reach that far armpit, that helps me no, get under. When you're in that inversion, right? Like when you're yeah. Um, you can, you can let go and push off with one arm. Okay. Just get a feel for it. If you don't need it, just kick over using your leg momentum. Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's practice. One, two, three. Partner up, partner up.